I'd say the biggest challenge would be like, you know, learning the technique and reading uh, like understanding why I need to do what I need to do. Coach Rocker said you really kind of uh, you've been working very hard at it, really pushing hard on it, but you also kind of learned a little bit of pass rushing techniques. He said he's been mm -hmm. really impressed with that. Is there something about pass rushing in particular that, that you like? Uh, no, nah, just it's just something like I kind of like can do, but I'm just whatever doing that, whatever they ask me to do. Why do you think it's flowing a little bit easier for you? Uh, I kind of played it a little bit like in high school, so I got to understand it. And then with all the coaches, they really help a lot, and then the players really help too. What was your first thought in your head when they said, "Hey, we want to move you over to defense"? I mean, I know you're you're embracing it now, but what, were you a little bit hesitant first, or what was going through your mind? And I, uh, I was excited because they said they thought this would be the best fit, so I just trusted they were. What was a moment where you were like, yeah, I'm, I'm good on the defensive side of the ball? Like, was there a play or a moment that stood out to you? Uh, I wouldn't really say a play. It's just uh, going out every day, just getting better and getting more comfortable in my position. Is there kind of a mentality you had to adopt as a defensive player? Or do you think you already had that, or was that an adjustment at all? Uh, i say it's uh, the mentality, like being more consistent and really learning, like, the schemes and understanding. Did you have to put on a lot of extra weight to play the defense ball? Or? Yeah, I did. I put on about 30 pounds. I weighed about 275 now. Were you trying to keep your weight down before that, or, or was it was that like more your natural weight, what you were before? Uh, I'd probably say natural weight. So you just eating everything in sight? Or yeah. Kind of what was the, <laughs> the uh, process of getting I was there? eating, you know, trying to eat better, put on, like, good weight. Has it and been more fun for you hitting people rather than blocking? Uh, yeah, i say it's been fun because you kind of get to cut loose a little bit. What did you eat to put on weight? What was your favorite go-to? I like just meat in general, any kind of meat, you know, I go in on it. So. <laughs> did, how, uh, how much did the coaches really stress that they, they're kind of looking for a guy on the edge, on the defensive line, to kind of give them some pass rush ability, and have you kind of embraced potentially being one of those options? Uh, I kind of stress it a lot, you know, just whatever it takes to get on the field, anybody that's willing to go out there and help the team. What does Rocker like about your ability to kind of get to the quarterback? What, what do you do maybe differently than some of your teammates that, that you need to take time? I say speed, but I'm still working on like all my other techniques and stuff, like my little things that I might struggle with. Do you have a teammate you go to for help or advice when you're looking to understand the position more? Uh, I'd probably say they all pretty much come together as one. You know, like if somebody's struggling, everybody like comes together to motivate somebody or help in any way that they can. We saw you working at outside linebacker some yesterday. How much is that just for kind of sub package or situation? Oh, uh, just another option. You know, you never know what position you might have to play when you get out there on the field. So, is it a fun defense to play in? I mean, you're working with a couple of different position groups, running around doing some stuff. Is it a fun, fun system to play in? Yes, sir. It is. You get a lot of different looks. Yeah, you know, the top SEC's top returning sack guy in Daryl Taylor back. Just what have you kind of picked up from him, and what just catches your attention about when you see how he rushes the passer? Uh, I say his drive. You got a really good motor on it. And that kind of like feeds off on the whole team, and he kind of gets used to it. You talked about how you want to get better at the little things. What's the area you feel you want to improve in the most heading into this season? Uh, I say strength and working on my hands. How long are you just go for it? Did playing offense help you on the other side of the football? Do you have a better understanding of what you're going up against? Uh, yes, sir, I do. I really think like because the offensive side, you got to you know break down the defense and stuff. Mm -hmm. So then I kind of know like that really helped me like knowing what kind of defense that we would be running and stuff like that. And like what, like what I control and stuff like that. How hungry are you to kind of show what you've been working on this off season once August thirty first hits? I'm pretty hungry, but like I said, I'm just really like excited to get out there and get on the field and help in any way I can to contribute to the team. What's the biggest difference between the tight end room and the, the defensive linemen or the different personalities? Uh, I say about the same. Everybody, you know, goofy and everybody treats everybody like the same. Nobody like gets treated any different. Well, defensive line, you don't have any returning starters. You lost them to an injury. How much motivation is there among you guys to just kind of show what y'all can do? Because really nobody knows what to expect. To be honest. Uh, I say it's a lot because, you know, we're all trying to get out there and uh, I guess make a name for ourselves and go out there and compete each day. Coach Rocker talked about the, the sense of urgency right now with that position group mm -hmm. of getting everybody together before the season starts. Have you felt that sense of urgency through fall camp? That you Yes, know? sir. And we've been picking it up each day, working on being consistent and raising up our level of play. Who's the hardest guy to go up against in practice, blocking-wise? Uh, I, I say they're all hard. Each day they just keep going and getting better and better. And I say this. What's Derek Ansley's style approach as a, as a coordinator? 
I will say he's very aggressive and he's gonna put us in the best situation. What's it like working for with, with Coach Rocker every day? Tracy seems like a guy who, if you do something right, he's gonna let you know. Mm -hmm. If you did something wrong, he's really gonna let you know you did it wrong. What's it like to, to learn from him? Uh, I say it's great because, like like you said, he lets us know when we're wrong and when we're good, and I think that you need that in order to take like the next step. What about a guy who plays that position at such a high level? Does that give him a little bit more clout, maybe when he's dealing with guys? Because that's a guy who you know, is one of the better guys who's ever done in the league. Yeah, I, I say it does because like we know his background and we know what he has done, so that kind of like motivates us and help us trust him. Coach, you may have talked about it before the, the transition from tight end. What are some of the specific skill sets that you think help you at uh, defensive line? I say ability to move and like, you know, being a little quicker, maybe like on the edge or something like that. But I, uh, I just kept working on my little things like in this weight room and nutrition to get better at everything that I can. What, what are some things that you, you were proud about and how you did in the scrimmages? What, what, give us some examples of some plays maybe you made. Uh, I don't remember really any plays, but I just remember like uh, they always harped on effort and being consistent, so we're just working on that. What was your reaction when they approached you about the position change? Were you surprised at all, or did you kind of know they might be leaning this way? Uh, I kind of feel like they were leaning that way, but I was excited about it, though. So I was going to do whatever. How much, how much defensive bond did you play in, in high school? I know you were a two-way two -way guy. Uh, I've actually played a lot. I was like, played both sides. Did you want to play tight end when you got here, or was it something that previous that? that uh, I wanted to play tight end. Did any schools look at you for defense coming out of high school? Uh, yes, sir. I had like both. Okay. It's pretty easy.